Hi, this is Miss Sarah, and welcome back to another week in our Symphony of Sounds. This week, we're going to be looking at something a little bit different than the last few weeks, and that is sounds from around the galaxy, sounds from different planets and in space. So have you ever wondered what you might sound like on a different planet or in space, or have you ever wondered how sound works in space or if there is sound in space? Today, we're going to explore all those things. First and foremost, space is a vacuum, so that does mean that there technically is no sound in space. The atmosphere that vibrations need to travel doesn't exist at all in the vacuum of space, so sound cannot happen. So to answer that first question, sound technically doesn't exist in space, but there are ways that we use technology to make sounds out of different kinds of waves. We're going to explore that in a little bit, but first I'd like to show you a video explaining this phenomenon of sound in space with a real astronaut. Now everybody knows in space that no one can hear you scream because sound can't travel through the vacuum of space. But inside the space station, we constantly hear the hum and the whir of the fans and the pumps and the machinery. And the ongoing noise of the space station can really take its toll, which gives us all the more reason maybe to play a little music and cut the monotony. So on that note, I'll see you out with a tune. Till next time. So, as the astronaut explained, there actually really isn't sound in space. So, I bet you're wondering, how do we even create sounds in space? And what are, Miss Sarah, what are you going to have us listen to if there is no sound in space? Well, because of the hard work of NASA and other space-related organizations, people can translate other kinds of waves, such as electromagnetic waves, for example, into sound waves. It's like you're hearing electricity, heat, etc. Isn't that neat? Some sounds from planet surfaces and rocky bodies are also captured on NASA probe missions. So what would you sound like in space? According to Harvard University, you'd sound a lot different on various planets. Firstly, there's Earth. We've talked so much about sound on Earth that it goes without saying how sound travels on our planet. But here's one thing to add. In order for sound waves to even travel the way it does, there needs to be some kind of atmosphere around it that it can travel through. On Earth, our atmosphere is mostly nitrogen with some carbon dioxide. This perfect cocktail of atmospheric ingredients lets sound travel normally. Next, on Mars, you'd sound much, much quieter. Even if you yelled, you might not make too much sound. Your voice would sound a lot slower as well. This is because Mars has an atmosphere that is full of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide absorbs lots and lots of sound, which is why you'd be so much quieter. How about on Titan, one of Saturn's moons? Well, your voice would be very, very deep and slow. This is because of two things. Titan is insanely cold, causing the atmosphere to be twice as pressurized as Earth's, and sound travels slower. And last but not least, how about Venus? On Venus, you, you might kind of sound like a duck. Venus's atmosphere allows for sound to be a lot louder, but your voice would also be much squeakier. So it's sort of the opposite of Mars, deep and low. On Venus, it would be a bit higher pitch, and sort of like a duck, and a lot louder. So let's explore some space sounds. For this section of our program, be sure, to have a be sure to have a pencil and paper. And as we journey through outer space together, think of these questions. How does the sound that I'm going to show you make you feel? What else does the sound sound like? And what do you think the sound could be? These are some odd sounds, so don't blame yourself if you don't get them all. Just reflect, on, just reflect on these sounds as you hear them, and we're going to explore some fun facts together about this. So here's our first mystery sound.
The answer to this is the sun. This unusual humming sound is actually the sun. The, the sonified data captures the sun's natural vibrations. You can almost feel the extreme heat of the sun's surface coming from this sound, can't you? And here's our second mystery sound. What a strange noise. This strange sound is created by Saturn and its moon Echolatus. These spooky sounds are actually plasma waves moving between the planet and its moon, turned into audio by researchers. It's almost like they're talking to each other. The plasma waves are coming off of one planet's surface and moving to the moon and back and forth. Here's our third mystery sound. What another strange sound that was. This actually comes from not too far away from us. It's from the Earth. They're called chorus plasma waves. This strange sound is produced by electric and magnetic fields that are constantly interacting with the Earth's atmosphere. There's an invisible magnetic and an electric field that surrounds our planet, and there are several types of plasma waves that can happen. Here is our next mystery sound. It's a very unique sound, isn't it? It kind of reminds me of a flock of electric birds or alien birds or something. This is another type of plasma wave that comes from the Earth's atmosphere and the electromagnetic field that surrounds the Earth. This is another kind of plasma wave that can be found. Just keep in mind with these plasma waves, there are many different kinds. So there are chorus and whistler plasma waves, but there are also many other kinds. And they're just plasma waves interacting with the Earth's atmosphere. Here's our fifth mystery sound. <laughs> So that was a very odd and jarring sound, wasn't it? So these strange sounds come from the surface of Jupiter's moon Ganymede. These strange radio emissions were intercepted by the NASA probe Galileo from the surface of the moon. And like I said, these are radio waves that were transmitted from the surface of that moon. Here's our sixth mystery sound. So that was a much shorter sound than the other ones. This one actually does not come from any kind of planet. It's a comet collision. This noise was created when a comet named Temple One pelted NASA's Stardust spacecraft with dust particles and small rocks. So essentially, the spacecraft was hit 
by the tail of the comet. And here is our last mystery sound. This sound, if not a bit muffled, is lightning on Jupiter. Did you know that lightning could strike on many different planets? It's not just Earth. The NASA spacecraft Juno picked up this very faint sound of lightning on Jupiter's surface. Now, how this happens on Jupiter's surface is still somewhat of a mystery to researchers, but it's interesting to know that lightning is not just a phenomenon on our planet. With that, that's actually all that I have for you today. Maybe a bit of a shorter program, but I hope that you've learned a lot, as I've learned a lot um, in learning about these space sounds. And I hope you'll join me next week when we go back into learning about music with our exploration of the Woodwind family. Bye, see you later.